Good morning. My name is Kaylin Alexander and I am a 2021 State 4-H Ambassador. Today I will be interviewing Chief Deputy William Alexander of Russell County. Good morning, Chief Alexander. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you sacrificing your time for this interview. My first question is, what inspired you to become a law enforcement officer? Well, I, I um, after high school or during high school, I always wanted to be a public servant. And so that's why I chose this, this field to uh, serve the public. What makes your job so unique? Well, especially in these times, it, it, uh, it's very unique in dealing with the number of issues uh, that we have in our society today. Uh, so it's unique in a sense of being able to relate to the public and then and then offering uh, offering a, a service that that's conducive to to their needs. Will you share with us some of your day-to-day -day responsibilities? Well, I'm more or less the chief uh, operating officer of the sheriff's office. We have over 150 employees. And so I run the day-to-day -day operations. I oversee a number of departments, uh, just to name a few, uh, patrol division, investigations and corrections. And those are just a few divisions that are managed by uh, more or less uh, the department is who, who answers to me. I don't necessarily micromanage those departments, but I oversee them. And so, and then the uh, I manage the uh, almost nine million dollar budget. And uh, and then there's several other things that 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 encompasses uh, running the office. How long have you been serving as a law enforcement officer? In, uh, September will make. Uh, will be my 33rd year here at the sheriff's office. That is amazing. How long have you been serving as a chief deputy for Russell County? Well, I've had my first in as chief deputy. I served in this, in this capacity for 10 years. I left for three years to assume the position of the Russell County's emergency manager and director of Homeland Security. I did that for three years and then I came back into this same position um, six years ago uh, and to assume the position that I had previously prior to me leaving. So uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 17 years. Is it true that you are the first African-American to serve in this position? I am, yes. Where did you attend college? Well, I've attended a, a, a few colleges. My first uh, uh, college was Auburn University in Montgomery, uh, the University of Virginia, and then the Chattahoochee Valley Community College. What was your degree or area of concentration? Uh, applied Sciences and uh, uh, Criminal Justice, and, and then Business Management. What steps did you have to take to get appointed to this position? Well, experience, um, knowledge of uh, the operations of the sheriff's office, of course, law enforcement knowledge, and then um, just being active in the community and then having a desire to wanting to progress through the department and then taking advantage of every educational opportunity and training opportunity. I attended the National FBI Academy in 2000, 2008, I'm sorry, to, uh, in 2000. And I graduated, uh, I went to, Washington DC, that's where the academy is located. And from there, I came back to this office. I had to sign a contract to come back here to serve at least an additional four years. And uh, so that's, uh, that's just one example of what it takes to, uh, to be in this position. What is some advice you would share with youth today who are aspiring to be law enforcement officers? Well, maintain a clean record. Uh, both driving and a criminal record, <laughs> stay out of trouble, uh, educate yourself uh, uh, to the, uh, it's very important that you educate yourself because this is, I look at this in more, in a sense of uh, you have to, because the laws change uh, constantly. So you have to be abreast of the laws. You have to be uh, constantly trained and you have to be aware of uh, situational awareness, so to speak. In this, in this line of work. So you just have to concentrate on education, keeping yourself out of trouble, 
and um, and then working extremely hard to uh, to uh, to be um, successful. Will you share with us some of your weaknesses and strengths? Some of my weaknesses. Let me think about that for a moment. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, you can ask some of my employees about my weaknesses. That I, <laughs> okay. but uh, some of my strengths were is, is definitely uh, being physically fit. Uh, I think that's important. It may not be important to some folks, but it is important to me. Uh, the knowledge of the operation of this office, uh, having uh, 33 years of experience, and that experience encompasses working with the general public, uh, the experience uh, in law enforcement, uh, how to deal with uh, different situations because no, no two, no two situations are ever the same in this, in, in this line of work, and and being able to transition from. Uh, from one extreme to the other, or the lack of, is is important. And, and I think I think that I'm able to, I was able to do that, and I'm able now. Uh, being in an office setting, uh, I constantly get get office visits from anything from family issues to uh, monetary issues as as it relates to the sheriff's office in terms of that, as I alluded to earlier, um, uh, budgetary issues. Um, and so that's, you know, dealing with those uh, situations, or I, I think is a strength. Uh, a weakness is probably, <laughs> my weakness is I'm not ready to retire. <laughs> I enjoy what I'm doing, and uh, I want to do this for a few more years. Have you encountered any obstacles while serving in your position? Yeah, um, yes, several obstacles. Um, uh, I think that uh, because of who I am, where I come from, I think those obstacles were what they were the um, were the, the the most difficult ones. Uh, I had to always prove that I uh, could do the job, that I was that I was capable of doing a job, and I always I just had to run a little faster and jump a little higher, and uh, all those hurdles. And I've always wanted to, uh, you know, I didn't want anything given to me. I just wanted a level a level playing field, and I've had that opportunity since I've been here. What are your goals for your future? Retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Retirement, boating, golfing, and fishing. Well, Chief Alexander, I really appreciate you sacrificing your time for allowing me to interview you this morning. This job sounds very interesting. I am very thrilled to have interviewed someone that is a part of history for Russell County, Alabama. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And why don't you, uh, what, don't you want to be in law enforcement? We need people like you. <laughs>